Hello, agents, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Daffy Rop, and in this video, we're going to continue our playthrough of Resident Evil 3 for the PC. In our last episode, we managed to uh, get the power turned back on for the subway, or at least get the power turned back on, I guess, for just the substation. Um, defeated all the nests. Well, okay, we didn't. We destroyed somewhat of the nests. It's still active as there's still bugs in there and then uh, we uh, faced down nemesis and uh survived and we got this um the extended mag from his drop uh he is currently on the move and chasing us through downtown as we're trying to make our way to the i believe we're going to the subway uh office so that is that is where we are headed so without further ado friends let us uh let us venture out into the great unknown and hopefully we won't die. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's go. All right, I do want to try to take the best, fastest way here. So the subway, it's a station, donut shop. Oh, okay, so the subway control room is through there. So it looks like donut shop or ladder. Okay, well apparently Nemesis can Captain Commando his way, and I'm dead already. Good night. God, I hate that scream so much. Come on, Jill, go. You gotta go faster, Jill. Oh my gosh. So, uh, spoilers. I have uh, been trying this over and over again. So. But that being said, we'll give this a go again. She takes every stair individually, and it's kind of annoying, to be honest. And it doesn't help when freaking Nemesis is Captain Commando. And again, same same deal. So go. Alright, what I might just do, just use the roof to avoid then, if we die again, which we probably will. Let's be honest. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Well done. Change of tactics. If we can get to the donut shop, he backs off. It's a matter of avoiding him <clears throat> and utilizing Jill's slow speed. Come on, Jill. Go, 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 go. Just keep going, Jill. He's going to jump. Oh, actually, he didn't jump this time. Okay, well, that works. All right, stage one of our journey's complete. This is dumb. All right, we're going to save it here. All right, and then... Yep. Have some do donuts. What the hell? It went past my head. Oh, this is so dumb. Well, Nemesis, you can eat a giant tentacle yourself, sir. Well, at least if you down Nemesis in the PS1 version, he's down. You have to worry about him. And here, it's just like, you just down him, and it's like, no. And apparently, he's still a threat. You, what the hell, man? Go, go, go. All right. I think we're good. All right. Whew. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. I wasn't trained for this. Okay. I'm assuming all the red is is dead. So we're gonna go R two or probably R one. FA2, 
R3, uh, SA2, and then F01. All right. All right. So. Where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Faust Avenue will Program take two. Hey, I'm super cop. Consider it done. They're getting a long way too well. Um. That's. Oh, I guess it's R A. Please enter our room. R A. Let's do three. S A two. Redstone Street to Fox Park. Man. What did he say? Redstone Street to Fox Park. Valid yeah. route. Confirmed. There we go. Carlos, it's me. I finished him putting the subway room. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Unzo. Hey, look, there's some more donuts. We can take those out to Nemesis. All right. And this is why we can't kill zombies on the ground, because they turn into tentacle monster eye things and now they're everywhere. Apparently Nemesis. That this is how Nemesis uh I mean coming at it from a bioweapon standpoint it's make some wow. I couldn't even get up. Like, he literally just stun locked me. Alright. Well. Fuck. It's, it's like. Go away. And they're like super hard to kill, too. So it's not like. This is what we're gonna do. We're trying to use that electrical box. Yeah, yeah. Nemesis. Ooh, that was nice. It's a good dodgy roll. Uh, I might head in the right direction. That's what we need to see here. Um, we are headed to the subway station, so yes. All right. As long as Nemesis doesn't Captain Commando his way and block my um, exit, I should be good. Oh, you dumb! Oh, thank you, Nemesis. You helped. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, hey, that worked. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, son of a... Not right. Yeah, it's pretty much my... I, I would try to go this way, but there's like a ton of those um, tentacle head things. So we'll just go this way. We'll use the electrical box. Roger, that's a good question. The one... That we will ask another day. We will launch shotgun. So he's gonna cap the commando or super jump his way over. Just gotta avoid the Karen in the middle of the street. Actually, oh, 
What in the... Come on, Jill, get up. Bitch, man. Go, 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 go. We have a clear way. Yep, see, that's the Captain Commando. It's like Jill, you can't run any faster. Like, good lord. Okay, that's not too bad. We just used one. And I'm pretty sure that little metal flimsy shutter isn't going to do anything. Okay. Now that that heart pounding section is over, let's just save it top here. All right. Yeah, I'm replaying. I'm redoing this video because I was just really negative and not in a good headspace when I did the other one. So, I mean, this one's going to be a little bit more entertaining. Also, I really want to see this movie, Sudden Death Bowling. That sounds like a great movie. So, and all I know is it's pretty cheap though. Look at that. We got one dollar for a soda thing and. Two things for candy, two for popcorn, and I don't know what that is, but... Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai! How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take yeah. it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. Jill acts like she's surprised. It's me he's after. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Joe. No! Damn it. Uh, well, I really didn't. What? Like, I had, like, no time. It's just like he's just, like, right there. I'm just gonna restart this thing. Cause I, I can't even get up. He hits you and there's no recovery. It's just like you're just down for the count. Yeah, that's it, Jill. Come on. Jill, you seriously need to put your tactical training to work and take more than one stare at a time for the love of all that is holy. Like, you should be vaulting over those. Well, at least he doesn't turn me into a tentacle head. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars. All right, well, that time it gave me a little bit of a breathing room. Okay, this time I should be good. Okay. I was trying to get through this without having to waste a healing item. So. Where you at, Nemi? That's a little bit better.
Maybe a big metal door will stop it, considering that it's surrounded by brick, which we all know what Nemesis does. Nemesis is basically the Kool-Aid man, and if I can find the mod where he becomes the Kool-Aid man... Carlos, do you copy? I'm totally easing it. Carlos. Oh, and when he busts through the walls, he's gonna go, oh yeah! Alright. So, now we're in the sewers. Alright, sewers map. All right. A map of the area. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, we're back to every other, <laughs> every other, um, what's it called? All right. Uh, we're not gonna need this. Nah. Need that. Sorry about that, my uh, son woke up, so. Okay, anyways, so, uh, did we save? Yes, we did, okay. Alright, so we are in the sewers, because there's always got to be a sewer level. At least in the PS1 version, I don't think there was, and hey, look at that, we got a, a hip pouch. What monstrosities await us down here? Oh, what was that? Eh, trust me, you don't want to know. Well, I guess let's get to it. Oh, God. I'm definitely burning this house. Yep, covered in shite, quite literally. Well, it looks like chickens. Goodness. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I agree. What the was that? They look like <laughs> they look like shark chickens. Like they have like the like featherless chickens with like shark heads. I don't know. Yeah, explosive powder. Alright, what do we got here? Research assistance logs. March 4th, water temperature 18 degrees Celsius. pH level 6.8. Gamma is released from the tank for the first time. Moving sluggish, combat potential low. April 18th, water temperature 20 degrees Celsius, pH 6.8. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results. With a significant rise in combat potential, the specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Uh, June 30th, water temperature 22 degrees Celsius, pH 6.2. Umbrella has officially shut down gamma research. We just smuggle some specimens with slightly, especially high potential for the, from the lab before disposal. Dr. Uh, Logan Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfecting the gamma line. August 14th, uh, water temperature 25 degrees Celsius, pH 5.8. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers, increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality. The specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma's quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days, we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with, uh, familiar with and friendly towards us. Bio procured high powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. Oh, well, that's interesting. September 1st, we were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department sheet, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. 
September 9th, water temperature 21 degrees Celsius, pH level 6.1. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves their viable, uh, their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. A voice from a gun shop kendo. Thank you for purchasing the XXXXXX grenade launcher. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed, at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It will take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Handwritten note on reverse. Explosive rounds are A times 2, flame rounds are A plus B, and then acid rounds are B times 2. Mine rounds can't be readily crafted, not worth sucking up on. Won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. So we have the MGO grenade launcher. Okay, uh, we'll store this for right now. And store that. And yes, we will save. Alright. Hopefully, this will be helpful against those things. Hello, sir. Ma'am. Thing, whatever. Hmm, smells like chicken. And sushi. This is like... It's like Willy Wonka's, uh, Umbrella Raccoon City's got a lot of shit, apparently. But let's go through the, uh, chocolate, um, hmm, yes. Chocolate waterfall. Oh, I didn't bring a knife. Alright, gunpowder. Shotgun cell. Sewer workers notes. It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cops said he probably skipped town, but I said no way. Not with this baby coming any day. But did they listen? Nope. This is BS. Effing puke breathing toad face MFers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like that can count on the uh, effing cops. Don't trust those pencil pushes at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows his face, I'm going to hit it right in his big ugly mouth. Alright, buddy. You get him? I mean, obviously, kind of. He didn't get eaten whole. Actually, that would be kind of funny, though. I mean, I would throw, like, an Easter egg in like that, right? Like, <laughs> you see, like, a corpse of one of those things, and, like, he punched it. Like one punch mandate in the face. Here, eat that. Yeah, don't feel bad. Not at all. This must be the lab. I forgot about that thing. Not a great gunpowder. Uh, explosive A. Gunpowder. 
All right, we have a love letter. My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course, the vocation, uh, voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series, and yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It's those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. I mean, Umbrella's one to talk about weaknesses, considering, you know, that they have, you know, a giant beating heart target thing on the outside of their nemesis program. So, you know. You know, let's just do this. Uh, we'll do that. And we'll combine. Uh, what else is in here? That's... Wait, uh, did I actually get everything in here? Oh, cool. All right, uh, now that we have the battery pack, we're going to head back to the beginning. Might head to the office and drop some of this off, make some more flame rounds too. Oh, I just got screwed with the... Man, I kind of shook that off. Look at those little chicken wings. All I had to do was go underneath the poop waterfall and it would have been fine. I like there's just like whole things of toilet paper. I'm gonna check out sound real quick. Give me a moment here. Thing is turned up. It just seems like it's really I don't know, underwhelming sound wise. But maybe that's just my imagination. Alright, we do need some. Okay, I think we're good business here.
It seems like a really inefficient locking system. They carry. Oh, good lord. I mean, honestly, we probably could have just reached around and unlocked that. Alright. But we do need to go back and get the battery. got in here we've got some gunpowder some mints and let's see more explosive powder right. that's really it nothing really Interesting. All right, this takes us back pretty much to the beginning here. Increased sewer security. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we're replacing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires especially a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. Roger that. Now, oh, we're leaving the facility, so we don't need it anymore. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Oh, you got that thing that quick there. Oh, of course. Oh, he has a weapon this time. Oh, that's a flamethrower. it that big of a surprise really explosive a now we have some green herbs I do let's make some well yeah Definitely not getting through with the saves. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. See, I feel like she's running faster. Oh, he's eating that zombie's butt. I was kind of hoping to avoid that, but. Quick. 
Maybe it's not advantageous to have a weapon that's going to be like, you know, lighting itself on fire. All right. And the metal's catching on fire. I like I'm playing Die Hard. All right, do we have anything up here? Uh, notice of demolition delay. Um, notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electronical, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for roof safekeeping. Entry to the premises is prohibited until the current unrest has decided. All employees are to stay home and await further instructions. All right. Let's just. Here we go. You know, now that you think about it, she is like a female John McClane. Come on, Jill McClane, let's go. You know, that's gonna be my canon. My head canon is that she is the daughter of John McCain. John McCain. <laughs> that's a that's a whole nother uh, rabbit hole there. All right, let's find that. I should have everything up here, right? All right, awesome. Pretty sure the flame rounds are gonna do much when he's already on fire. It's still kicking. Come on. Oh yeah, and he dodges, so... There is... That. Oh my god, Jeff, come on. Is this thing ready yet?
Oh, come on, dude. It cycles perfectly so you don't have to waste it, so he can dodge it. That's what it is. I get him? Yeah! Woo! Wasted probably three rounds of grenade ammo, though. Not happy about that, but we'll take it. Alright, let's go, Jill McLean. I don't know why, but I keep thinking Jill's head is too big for her body. It's almost like in some of the camera angles, it just looks goofy. All right, Miss McLean, let's go. Your dad would be proud of you, even though you changed your name. I mean, it could be better, could be worse. I mean, ultimately, healing-wise, we only use the one, so we're good there. All right, not bad. I'll take it. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Wow, she sounds like my Jill. Don't start. Okay. Oh, well, here we are. Resident Evil 2. Well, I don't remember the uh, fire engine. Spencer Memorial. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. I had a uh, phone call. Um, anyhow, I hope we all heard the uh, that radio message saying about those people being uh, three survivors in um, Spencer Memorial. All right, so we're gonna head down. See what we got down here? It looks like nobody. Uh, Nobody has placed the uh, herbs there for Claire or Leon. They did leave us a, a briefcase of uh, high-grade gunpowder. Thank you. Right, so I'm just gonna. Make our way over to Kendo's. Oh, this one's it's just open. Explosive powder B. Oh, it's Kendo. Hey, Kendo. buddy. You're all right. You're all, all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. 
Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. Rakendo. I think he survives. That's my cannon. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Looks like someone must come through and move these pallets later on. Alright, got the gate key. Uh, let's go. Store, store. What else we got? Powder. Good on semi auto barrel. All right. I assume that's going to take us to the two slot shoddy. All right. Store, store. Keep that. <laughs> I have irked about him dodging all my freaking grenades. Oh, there's still more in. Um, it must be this skill. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, I think we are good. Let's combine. Well, it gives us two extra rounds. Not sure if we're going to come across any zombos. And probably should take it just in case. Alright, that gets us. Well, why don't we go to the next save room and then we'll. Yeah, the episode there. We're good, so let's go. Poor Kendo, though. In all seriousness, I, I do enjoy Kendo in this version versus the... Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know if he's in the PS1 version, but he's definitely in the PS2, and he gets eaten right off the bat. Um, he's kind of creepy in that one, but... Oh... Uh, it's more of those things. Not sure how they got over here, considering Nemesis is dead up there. But all right, so we're going to the subway. And we gotta deal with. Kinda of surprised it. Oh, he is alive. Can I stab you through the Oh. Actually, let's just not even. I'm just gonna die and just reload. Come on, stay forever. All right, and we're going again. So yes, I can stab him when he's on the ground. But he doesn't die. So. Or he takes forever to stab him, anyways. Unlike in RE2, I can just stab him in the Legos. And. 
That's it. But nope. See, like, she could just use the knife and just stab him in the head right there. It's just kind of ridiculous that... Alright, so now we gotta deal with this guy here. Alright, so two shots to the head with the shotgun and then their tentacles disappear. I'm fine with that. Shake it off, Jill. Shake it off. Hey, look, there's a thing. Alright. Look, it's freedom. Freedom in a box. We can ship those over to overseas countries. Look, we got your freedom in a box. Don't worry. Um... Oh, it more just dissolves and breaks apart. Man, there's a lot of replica art and... I'm not sure what they were doing in this corner. A lot of tools on the ground there. Hello? RPD, any survivors? Hello? No. Oh, but you guys left me this. Cool. Thank you. I'm gonna steal this, whatever it is. Did she just drop the... I think... I'm pretty sure she just dropped the lockpick on the ground. Alright. Oh. Don't mind if I do. What is this, though? Raccoon Times Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays, and there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, a big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. I hope we get to see that giant head go rolling down the road. After that's gotta be foreshadowing, right? You know he's just gonna pop up around here somewhere. Told you. Uh oh. Rocket launcher? Really? I'm not even sure what happened there. What? Come on, Jill McLean, let's go. Got like infinite rocket launcher. Yeah. 
Oh. Jill McLean, everyone. Not doing well, so I do need to heal. Um, oh, hey, look at that. I think there just happens to be a box here. Yes. Thank you. Why am I still walking around like I'm... Subway power substation? That's where we were just at, though. Oh, okay, I see where we're at. You there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Alright, so that way's blocked. Donut shop is blocked. That's because everything is on fire. Hey, he's in a commando. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, I guess I, that was a QTE that I wasn't really notified that I was supposed to do something there. I thought that was just a cutscene. Jill McLean killed by a giant bobblehead. That's not the side I was on. I kind of wish it would show the other side of, like, just this blood smear with Joe on it. I'm trying to figure out how to... So, you're telling me every other time I've had to... Whatever. Okay, there you go. I figured it out. stars must be nice to have the, the cheat code for infinite rockets there nemesis yeah here he comes he's gonna jump I me mean, could have been over there bud oh he cleared out this whole area Look at his nose. Come on, forget about him. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, to the subway we go. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, 
You saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, now you'll be safe. Theoretically. Huh, well, they've been busy. Alright, let's pull this out. Still want to see bowl, sudden death bowling. That sounds like a grand time to play, a grand movie to watch. What about you? Not from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. No. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. What you think? <laughs> what was that? Oh, ho, ho. how is this fucker not dead yet? Just go. They're gone. Come, this way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Get off my train, shit bird! Eh, I guess the train sequence was a little bit cooler than the PS1 version. In either case. Apparently we escaped from the city. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. Pretty sure this black dude was who uh, Nikolai killed in the uh, uh, hospital. All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. All right. Well, I think we're going to call this episode here. We're going to pick up on Carlos's uh, side of things, I guess. I guess instead of uh, Jill getting the virus and him having to save her, he, uh, I guess, goes in search of a city. So we'll call that here. Um, I hope you all are having a wonderful day whenever this goes up. And uh, 
yeah, so may all your prayers protect you from those things that go bump in the night. And until next time, friends, check out the creators in the description down below. Each one of them are amazing people. In our next episode, we will continue on with Carlos. So look forward to that. All right, agents, this is Agent After All signing off. Bye-bye.